what sort of uh, lockdown or social isolation specific problems are you seeing in the kids you work with? What do you worry about in the short and the long term? Yeah, well, I think there have been kids have had problems finding identities, finding meaning in life, finding people who they can rely on, figuring out what their values are and trying to, uh, you know, do that relative to other people in their network or people who uh, they interact with before the pandemic. I mean, there was a, there was a sense that we were like unmoored from some of those things even before any of this happened. And now um, people have had to find other ways of providing themselves with satisfaction during the pandemic. And, and fair enough, you know, like a lot of adults that I work with have turned to drinking or drug use when they didn't, it hasn't really been in their best interest to do so. So I think a lot of kids who are be or were isolated during the pandemic have also lost contact with the some of the few connections they had or maybe all of their connections so you know they've lost the face to faceness of things they've lost the avenues that they had been able to sort of organically and naturally reach out to people to and i think that's the biggest thing you have like a school environment you know, if it's a public school then you have so all these sort of natural resources there to find social engagement and uh, you might not have it one day, but maybe you join a sports team, a club, or find a friend or have a teacher that you enjoy. So there's all these different ways that you can kind of reach out and then everything being open to the community there. Kids tend to grow up. And when they grow up, they find their niche a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's been very difficult. And I think the pandemic has disrupted that sort of natural outgrowth that most kids that I work with, and I think most kids see on a regular basis. Yeah, that's. I like that you make that point of saying that these problems were are not specific to the pandemic. They just change the ways in which kids are forced to deal with them. I think that's an important point to realize that it's not as though before the pandemic, everything was perfect, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was a, there's a reason for mentorship before the pandemic, that's for sure. And I think that, um, well, maybe you'll get into it, but I think that the places that sort of uh, thrive on doing that kind of work have found themselves busier than ever and, and more meaningful than ever during this time. That's for sure. 